Well, it's fun to explore different parts of Ohio on day trips, weekends, and shores and islands of Ohio. Might be a place you want to go. Joining us today, she is Public Relations Manager with Shores and Islands of Ohio, Jill Bauer. And thanks for joining us, Jill. Hello, thank you for having me. Okay, fall is a beautiful time of year in the Buckeye State. So tell us some of the kind of things in your part of Ohio that we can do. Well, you know, I keep hearing about all of these fall peak leaves and ours are really just on the border of hitting. So you still have several weeks to come and enjoy the beautiful fall colors in the Shores and Islands, Ohio area. Some of the things that you can do, of course, you can visit our islands. You can go on our hiking trails. We have lots of apple orchards and pumpkin patches and all of those traditional fall things that you uh, just want to get out and enjoy with the family. We have lots of great things going on and really some of our biggest events are still to come in the following weeks. See, that's what I think people think about fall and they're like, oh, can't go out and do anything. But, right. you know, tell us about some of the other things that, you know, let's enjoy the season, right? Get out. Absolutely. The weather is looking like it's going to get much better next week. Get out and enjoy those hiking trails. Get out and enjoy Lake Erie, of course. Um, we've got some big events coming up. Halloween is right around the corner. The Witches Walk is this weekend uh, in downtown Sandusky, and that's an event with over 500 people dressed like witches and warlocks, having a lot of fun in downtown Sandusky, a lot of great things going on. Apple Peak is happening at Quarry Hill Orchards this weekend, which, of course, it's in the name. It's the peak season for apple picking. Uh, so you can head over there. There'll be vendors and music and food and lots of great things going on. That's in Berlin Heights, Ohio. Lots of things going on in the Shores and Islands, Ohio region still this fall. Uh, I believe your area has a lot of wineries too, right? People like to, to visit the wineries. Absolutely. And we actually have a digital cheers trail that folks can participate in with over 21 wineries, breweries, and distilleries. We even have an orchard that does hard cider that's included in that. And if you download that to your phone, the cheers trail, all you have to do is visit some of these places and check in while you're there digitally and you can earn points towards prizes. Those prizes can be redeemed at the Shores and Islands Ohio Welcome Centers. We have two. One is in Port Clinton and one is in Sandusky. And it's a fun way to enjoy beverages around the region and it really is you know pretty seasonal yeah all right so let's say it is getting a little bit colder and maybe towards the end of the fall getting towards winter you do have some big indoor areas though too to visit we do. We have a lot of year-round museums. Of course, we have three indoor water park resorts, which are great for families. A lot of things still going on. You know, we do have seasonal attractions that are going to be closing towards the end of the month, but we're really just gearing up for the holiday season. Lots of great dining, again, museums, historical attractions, and great cozy getaways. So you can always go to shoresandislands.com. That is our website where you can plan all of your fall and upcoming winter fun. Yeah, so it's one of those things where I think we get stuck. We're like, we live in Ohio, there's not that many things to do, but just like your area, shores and islands, there's a lot of variety, and we'd be surprised at how the landscape even changes from what it is in Alima. Absolutely, and like I said, I keep hearing that the, the leaves are peaking, at least in your area and down towards Columbus, and because of the warm waters of Lake Erie, our leaves actually peak a little bit le later in the season. So if you are into the fall colors, really the next couple of weeks are, are a beautiful time to enjoy the landscape of the region. You can see the Marblehead Lighthouse behind me. Uh, it is a wonderful place to visit. We have a lot of lighthouses along the coast and a lot of wonderful wooded hiking trails. Uh, again, to really enjoy the fall season. Right, yeah. And again, what's your website if you want to tra uh, find out some more travel ideas? You can get travel ideas, event information, cozy getaways, all kinds of fun at shoresandislands.com. All right, some fun stuff. Jill, thank you very much for sharing with us that part of the Buckeye State. So thanks for joining thank us. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. All right, don't go away. Noon Edition continues in a moment.